Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. If you're like me, one of the first things you do when you wake up is check your phone and see if you've missed anything exciting and ooh, what's this? A flashing notification light? Oh, wait. Bloody hell, it's a missed call from some number in some far-flung area code or even another country altogether. And they didn't even leave a voicemail. How rude. Well, assuming it wasn't a wrong number or another angry call from some debt collection vulture, there's a good chance that you've been robocalled. This is essentially the telephone equivalent to email spam, which you can learn more about here. But unlike the messages that inhabit your email account's junk folder, robocalls and other kinds of phone spam can be far more intrusive. And because they don't have subject lines, it can also be much more difficult to know whether a call from a random number is from a scammer or an annoying political campaign before you pick up. So why is robocalling so pervasive? And what can you do about it? Well, although telemarketing was obviously around way before the internet era, modern voice over IP or VoIP services like Google Hangouts or Skype have made it much easier to call tons of different phone numbers at once. Many times, unscrupulous callers that use automatic dialers don't even bother working off of a database. They just call tons of random combinations, hoping that if they throw enough darts, some of them will hit a target. VoIP has also made it extremely easy for robocallers and scammers to use a trick called caller ID spoofing, where a phone call will show up as being from a different number than it actually is. And although this isn't a rock solid way for callers to mask their true identities, it is very effective at defeating spam detection systems. Wait a minute, spam detection systems? So we have solutions in place? They just don't work? Well, sort of. Many modern smartphones can connect to databases that check incoming calls against known spam numbers and provide a visual warning if there's a match, letting you know that you may not want to answer. And there are third-party apps that provide similar functionality. But as I mentioned before, these aren't perfect solutions due to the caller ID spoofing and the fact that some of the data is crowdsourced, an inherently error-prone data collection method. Furthermore, if you're on a more traditional landline, these spam spotting features may be completely unavailable to you. So unsurprisingly, governments have tried to legislate the problem out of existence with mixed success. Who didn't see that one coming, right? The United States has had a do not call registry for 14 years where you can sign up to tell telemarketers not to contact you, but this doesn't cover completely automated calls. Just ones with a human on the other end trying to sell you the world's most powerful toilet plunger or whatever. So the FCC in the US is currently attempting to work with major carriers to block spoofed numbers that aren't assigned to anyone on record so as to reduce scam robocalls, many of which have actually ripped people off or stolen their personal data by pretending to be tax collectors or other government officials. However, robocopping, copying. However, robocalling is still allowed under a number of circumstances. For example, you may still get calls from polling firms taking surveys or, more irritatingly, from political campaigns and committees during election season. Which makes me wonder if I should start my own single issue political party focused on ridding the country of phone spam completely. Then again, we'd need to find some way to get the word out. Hmm. Do you find yourself spending more time as a small business owner or freelancer dealing with accounting for the work that you've done and billing for it and taking payment than actually doing work? Well, it's time to check out FreshBooks cloud accounting software. It's designed for the way you work to help you be more organized, more efficient, and less 
stressed. FreshBooks lets you track your hours, track your expenses, bill your clients, and even take money directly through the platform all more quickly and more easily. They've got amazing technical support. You literally call them and an actual person picks up and helps you out if you're having trouble. And they've got cool features like the ability to see when a client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. So try out FreshBooks for 30 days for free by heading over to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and entering techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. Thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with a suggestion for a future video and subscribe. It'll be great. Hit the bell too.